I was back at my parents' house for the summer, away from the familiar surroundings of university life. One evening, I decided to hang out with a friend and attend a party in town. Little did I know that this seemingly ordinary night would spiral into a horrifying experience. At the party, I met a guy around my age. We struck up a conversation, and everything seemed casual and fun at first. We exchanged phone numbers, thinking it was just a friendly gesture. But as days went by, he grew increasingly clingy, suffocating my sense of freedom. In an attempt to create some distance, I stopped responding to his messages, hoping he would take the hint and back off. However, he didn't seem to grasp the concept of boundaries. Instead, he bombarded me with over a hundred messages, each one more aggressive than the last. This relentless pursuit unfolded in less than two weeks since our initial meeting. Feeling pressured, I finally decided to respond, urging him to calm down. It seemed to work for a while, as he adopted a softer tone and professed his infatuation with me. His words, though, grew uncomfortably intense for someone I barely knew. Politely, I explained that I was only home for the summer and not interested in anything beyond a casual fling. However, my rejection sent him into a fit of rage. His demeanor shifted dramatically, and he began to hurl insults and derogatory names at me. Then, abruptly, the call went silent. After a chilling pause, he whispered, You better get ready because I'm coming for you, before abruptly hanging up the phone. Fear coursed through me as I realized the gravity of the situation. My parents were out of town for the week, leaving me alone in their house. He knew this, and it sent shivers down my spine. He couldn't have known the exact location of my parents' house, as I was always the one driving there. But just to be safe, I locked all the doors and shut the blinds. Despite my unease, exhaustion eventually overcame me, and I fell into a troubled sleep. It was only when I woke up that the true horror of the situation unfolded. A notification on my phone's lock screen from the Ring app informed me of movement detected by the security cameras at my parents' house. The intruder was him. Watching the video, I saw something chilling in his hand. His intentions were unclear, but when he noticed the camera, he decided to leave. Panic set in as I realized how close he had come to me while I slept, vulnerable and unaware of his presence. In a frenzy, I blocked him on all platforms and reported the incident. It was then that I discovered the horrifying truth he had obtained my address through my phone number simply by googling it. My dad's name was linked to the phone number, and the internet readily provided my parents' address. This revelation was a nightmare, exposing how easily our private information could be exploited. Haunted by this experience, I found it impossible to sleep at night. I've since learned the importance of safeguarding personal information and the dangers of sharing your phone number too freely. I urge everyone to consider using a disposable number when interacting with acquaintances or strangers men online, as privacy can be a matter of life and death. May my harrowing encounter serve as a warning to others that they never have to endure the terror that invaded my life.